So if you're submitting tracks to a music library and you're getting into the TV film licensing business, you might want to know how soon can you get paid. Well, this can be as soon as a couple of weeks from submitting your tracks to a library. It depends on a few things. One, is your music amazing and great and exactly what that library wants? If it is and you already have tracks created, well, you could literally submit your tracks to a library on a Friday and have a contract and a paycheck or a direct deposit coming to you as soon as the next Monday. I mean, you know, business can move that fast in this industry. It's pretty rare. Most of the time, things take about a week or two in, in like as far as how fast things normally move. Um, in the slower end of things, things can take maybe a month um, to finally settle out. But if somebody's dragging their feet for a month and you've submitted tracks and they're not getting back to you within a month, you might want to just cut your losses and move on to another company because they're either not interested or they're flaky and who knows. You don't want to figure out and try to analyze why they're not getting back to you. Just go on to somebody else. But if you've got great music and it serves the needs of the library you're submitting to, you can get paid that upfront consideration fee um, within a week or two, really, honestly, if you have the good stuff there. Now, as far as royalties, royalties do take a little bit longer to earn simply for the fact that it's a whole system of your song getting placed into a TV show uh, the performing rights organizations, whether it's BMI or ASCAP that you're associated with, going out, collecting those music cue sheets, finding out what songs were used, which artists they need to pay, divvying up all their revenues that they've gathered from all their different networks and production companies and everybody that uses them, and then sending you your royalty check and royalty statement that details all of your placements and how much of each track was used on what TV show. I mean, it's a lot of metadata and data entry that has to be done. So that can take between six and nine months from the day that you get your placement on TV. So if you have amazing music though, and you've got a great set of, let's say 10 to 12 songs that you're ready to get licensed, this is how soon things can happen for you, right? Not a guarantee, and it's not by any means always common, but this can happen, and I've seen this happen for many artists. They put out a great album, and within a month or two, um, they've got placements already on TV. Now, they get paid up front for their exclusive use of their contracts, uh, of, their, of their songs. And this fee per track can range anywhere from $50 to $500 or even $1,000 per track. Again, it depends on how hot is your stuff, how much do they want it, you know, how big of a library are there. There's many different factors that dictate that. But you, 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 know, you can get paid within a couple of weeks, you know, a couple of grand. Um, for licensing your tracks and then within six to nine months you can have you know thousands if not tens of thousands of dollars coming in through royalties if you get some huge placements like a theme song or you know some music editor loves your tracks and they put it all over their whole you know reality tv show series or whatever now again not always common doesn't happen for everybody but this is what's possible in this business but again, even with all that sort of upfront, you know, wealth that can be generated from music licensing, I, I always want to stress to my students that we're not really in this for the short term gains. We're really in this for the long term sustainability. At least that's what I've been in this business for is that I love constantly getting royalty checks every single quarter and seeing those royalty checks grow because I keep putting out more and more music. So you need to have a long term mindset when you get into this business. If you have a mindset that you think, you know, one year into this and you can retire, then yeah, I would just say stay away from this business and go buy lottery tickets or something because this is not going to work out for you. If you want to succeed, you got to stick in it, you know, stick with this for the long run. Maybe that first year you don't get those placements that you thought you would, you would already have in a year. But so what? You, you're going to keep moving on. You keep going for the next year and the next year. And you will see if you stick with this and you have great music, you will see your checks grow. You'll see your placements exponentially start uh, spreading out all over the TV and, and movies and commercials and that kind of thing. So it's a beautiful business to be a part of if you have that long-term mindset and you consistently can deliver. If you want to learn more about the TV film music licensing business, then click this video right here and you'll be sent a free crash course which will teach you everything you need to know to get started today.